Hi everyone, welcome to the lecture series on Renewable Energy Engineering. I am Nili Trivedi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let us start with our second chapter, Solar Energy. In this session, we will study about instrument of measuring solar radiations. So, let us start with this. In this, the standard instrument for measuring the solar radiations are pyranometer, perheliometer, sunshine recorder and photovoltaic solar meter. Now, let us study about pyranometer. As you see two diagrams at here, one is the basic structure and the second one is a schematic diagram of pyranometer. So, if you see the first diagram, it is known as pyranometer. It measures total broadband solar radiance. Now, this is total radiation means diffused and beam radiations both. Now, you should remember the types of radiations. First is the diffused radiation and second one is the beam radiation or vice versa. So, here what is beam radiation? They are the radiation of the sun which comes straightward to the earth's surface. Beam radiation. Like sunshine. What are the diffused radiation? They are scattered radiation which are come from the cloud and which are reflected or refracted radiations. Okay. So, uh, about this, if we study about this pyranometer, it will, uh, it will contain both the radiations diffused as well as B. Now, if we study the second diagram, it will give us the construction of pyranometer because, uh, because it is the schematic diagram. Now, it provides thermopile sensors with black and white coating. In this, black surface reflect more heat energy which is received from the sun in the form of solar radiation. As we all know, black surfaces surface can absorb the heat. Okay. Now, the temperature difference between two such black and white surfaces. I need to remember, uh, I need to uh, explain furthermore. There are two surfaces. One is a black surface and second one is a white surface. Black surface will consume the energy in the form of heat, radiation in the form of heat. Another which is the white surface. Now, thermocouple or thermopile sensors are attached, one at the black one and second at the white one. The temperature difference between two such black and white surfaces, it means as we all know black surface will have the more radiation value and hence the uh, much heater than the white surface. It is detected by the thermopile in the millivolt signal which are proportional to the incidental radiations. Okay, incidental radiations it means radiation at an incident at a time. Now, when it is calibrated in terms of watts per square meter, it gives the measurement of radiations. These sensors absorb all solar radiations in the ranges of 300 to 50,000 nanometer wavelength. It means they can measure each and every beam as well as diffused radiation. Okay. It covers with a glass dome as you see which prevents the leakage of radiations. So this is the pyranometer. Now let us see the perheliometer. In this case also there are two diagrams. One is the schematic one and second one is the basic structure. It is working on a similar principle as a pyranometer. The temperature difference between black and white surfaces absorb solar radiation which produces EMF proportional to the energy incidental on the surface. It means in this case we can again calculate the each and every data at an instant. Okay. Now let us talk about the construction and working. How it works? Let us study. There is a schematic diagram of the instrument as you see at the right hand side. Now point A is a black and silver disc as you see at the top of it. Okay. With 38 mm diameter. So the diameter of a black and surface is 38 mm and 7 mm thick. So it is only of a 7 mm thickness. Now because of the black 
black disk, it will consume or contain the radiation, it can absorb the radiation. It has a hole on its edge in which there is a glass thermometer. C, which is inserted. The disc is suspended inside the copper box. It means there is a copper box and the disc is suspended on the copper box B. Using three fine steel wires, the whole assembly is enclosed in the wooden box to protect the structure against the temperature change in the surrounding. It will measure minus 15 to 50 degrees centigrade in the increment of 0.1 degree centigrade. It means the thermometer is having the very much accurate value of temperature. It will give us the accurate value as 0.1 degree centigrade. Now, solar radiation enters through the calorimeter tube, okay, which is in a wooden box and absorbed by black and silver disc. So, radiations can be absorbed. The temperature rises and the rate of change of temperature is recorded in a series of 2 minutes per cycle. Okay, so this is perheliometer. Now, uh, so I think it is clear for you all that the solar radiation measuring instruments are based on EMF system. It means thermocouple principle. So let us study about sunshine recorder. Here this is used to measure the duration of the day when there was a bright sunshine giving the beam radiation. Now here this particularly sunshine recorder can only measure the beam radiation. It is different from perheliometer as well as pyranometer. In a perheliometer and pyranometer they both can measure beam as well as diffused radiation because they are only uh, depend upon the uh, the heating of the black disc. In this sunshine recorder, it can only record the sunshine during the daytime. So now, let us check construction and working. So here, it is made up of a transparent glass sphere mounted on a table with a heavy base. So the sphere is mounted on a table with a heavy base. The pole is provided. So there is a pole which is provided. It means it is. Uh, it will look like a bowl. There is a sphere, and uh, it will grow to insert the paper which receives the concentrated beam of a sunlight. Now, what will happen in this case? The radiation of the sun will hit on the sphere, glass sphere. Now, glass sphere because it, uh, it's a shape, it will uh, reflect these radiation of the sun on this strip which is attached on the board and it will mark uh, it will burn the paper and by during during the daytime or the heavy sunshine now there is no mark on the paper it means there is no sunshine due to the clouds it means if there are any diffused radiations there will not give any kind of mark on the paper where the paper is placed on the bowl, okay, on the sunshine recorder, there is a bowl and there is the groove in which the paper strip is attached. So, during the sunshine, heavy sunshine, we will get the radiation mark on it because, because of the convex surface, it will burn up the paper. And if there is not any sunshine, like in a rainy season, it will not burn up so that it will not give us the value of the sunshine on that particular system or the object. Now, let us understand what is the photovoltaic solary meter. Now, students, you have to understand this is the most, most, most prominent for our solar study because each and every solar cell system is based on this photovoltaic system. It is a typical pyranometer which measures solar flux intensity in the solar radiation. It works on the principle of solar photovoltaic cell. It means what we clearly say, the solar cell system. It is just this. Now, solar energy is received on solar cells which are connected to variable resistive load. Now, current produced in the circuit which is proportional to the incidental energy on the solar rays. Now, as you see in our diagram, there is a solar cell 
Now the radiation, uh, radiation beam or diffuse, any kind of particularly the beam one, will charge the cell. Okay, and by the charging of the cell, the EMF produced, and by the EMF produced, the electric circuit is complete. And by the completion of the circuit, it will give us the proposed net value of the energy of the solar rays. I think now this is clear for you. Now, solar cell and meter measuring current are mounted on a platform which can be moved in the direction of sun. Now, as you see, there is a round platform below the photovoltaic solar emitter. Now, if there are less sun rays in any of the direction, we can rotate it and move it along the direction of the sun. So, solar cell and meter measuring current are mounted on a platform. So, they are mounted on a platform which can be measured in the direction of the sun. The meter can be calibrated to measure the value of solar radiation directly in watt per square meter. Okay? Now, let us find the difference between pyranometer and perihelometer. Now, as you know, we have another two which are a photovoltaic cell and another one is solar emitter. They both are, uh, they both can measure the beam radiation. As we have here, the pyranometer and perihelometer, as we have studied this, we found it, it, it doesn't have any kind of difference. But they are the difference in a very, very minor way. So, let us study the difference. If we study about pyranometer, it has black and white painted silver sensors. Okay, so thermocouple are both in a color, black as well as white. And in a perihelometer, the black painted sensors are used. So there are only single type of sensor, which is black painted. Okay, in a pyranometer, the sensors are covered by two hemispherical optical glass domes. The sensors are covered, as you see, it is covered with the now, sensor rings in a perihelometer, sensor rings are fitted at near end of the calorimeter. So, if you remember the diagram, for, for the pyranometer there is a dome and for perihelometer there are two rings at above and below the calorimeter. If we study about pyranometer, solar rays from 180 degree field range can enter through the transparent glass drop. Okay. And in a perihelometer, only beam radiation can enter in the calorimeter tube, not the diffused radiation. If we study about the pyranometer, shading ring is provided to prevent the beam radiation falling on the sensor for measurement of diffused radiation. And in perihelometer, cone angle of 5 degree is kept to minimize the diffused radiation falling on the sensors. Okay? Now, it will measure beam as well as diffuse radiation, pyranometer and perihelometer can only measure the beam radiation. So, student, this is the study of instrument. Thank you all of you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can contact me.